<laughs> Marge. Gretch. She was going to do it again. <laughs> Cheater. Your independent Sensi consultants. Coming to you live. From? The bar. The bar. <laughs> We're at the bar. And look, we have water. You're looking at the lounge. Yes. Today? Water. Water, water, today water. Today, it's water. So today... We are going to read shiny. from the good book of Don't Sweat the Small Stuff, 100 of the Best Inspirations from the Best Selling Series. Anticipate the best. Okay. Ready? Uh, I hope so. It's <laughs> the, the look you're giving me is <laughs> I should be ready. Oh. What do we need? I to adjust my glass. I need a telescope. No, I need a microscope. No, I need it. Is it a microscope? Yes. <laughs> Ah. Stuff like, I mean, a telescope would do you too, but we'd have to put the book on the moon. And then <laughs> Who you has could... a telescope? And what do you use it for? I used to have one. I think and I would I never to got have to one. use it. Okay. Well, let me read from the good book and then we'll talk about telescope. We'll get a telescope. Three times this week in three different cities, I heard a man say the words, it's important to anticipate the worst. Each time it was said in conclusive manner as if this was somehow a wise statement. Benjamin Franklin once said, I imagined some horrible things in my life, a few of which actually occurred. Most of us do the same thing. We worry, fret, get bothered, all worked up and been out of sh- and bent out of shape. Not been out of bent, shape. We've been out of I'm shape. I've been out of shape, but <laughs> they got bent out of shape. Now I got to find my place. The trouble is, a vast majority of the time, things work out anyway. So what's the point of spending so much time and energy imagining all these horrible things? Look at the big old ball of fur. He's playing with a bully stick. Consider for a moment the illogic of always assuming the worst. If what Franklin said is true, then most things will turn out fine. However, we attend to assume that they will not turn out fine. In fact, despite strong evidence to the contrary, we're going to assume that everything is going to go to hell in a handbasket. So instead of easing through life, knowing that if we do our best and put the odds in our favor, all will be well most of the time. We're instead going to be stressed out and stressed out, one word, stressed out, or one sentence, and frantic for no legitimate reason. We're going to plan for the worst, spend our time and energy figuring out what to do if the walls come crumbling down, have intense conversation in our minds about all that could go wrong, and remain tense, agitated, and on guard. We're going to anticipate the worst. Obviously, I'm not suggesting that you don't think through the issues in your life or plan ahead. Like you, I have contingency plans. I'm careful and I carry life insurance. It's not about failing to plan, but instead it's about choosing to not spend your life immobilized and frightened about things that aren't likely to happen or those over which you have no control. I always say, I have no control over it. I have to let it go. Mm. One thing is certain. If you can eliminate or greatly reduce being worried about these two types of concerns, you're onto something important. You'll be far less stressed on a day-to-day basis, and you'll be a much happier person. I hope you'll think about this strategy and give it a fair shot. You can certainly start with small issues, but I encourage you to start today. Instead of assuming that your conversation is going to be adverse- adversarial, assume it will result in a peaceful resolution. Instead of assuming someone is out to get you or take advantage of you, Work on the assumption that most people are honest and that things will work out fine. You'll quickly discover that most of the time your new assumptions are going to be correct. I think that you'll find assuming the best is the best way to live. It's, that's a good way to look at it. There you have it. Yep. So having said that, not too long ago, we brought you Bring Back My Bar. Well, guess but what we came in the just mail? just talked about them. And then we put them on our big vision board, and they showed up at the doorstep. Yep. <laughs> so, we've got uh, 25 bars of goodness. To smell and tell you what we will be adding to our club either tonight or tomorrow, because tomorrow is the last day. To add to your club. So, do you have a Cincy Club? Do what they do know what a Cincy Club? What do you have in your Cincy Club? Do they know what it is? I don't know. You want to tell us what it is? I know what it is. Sure. I can tell you. Or are you going to tell me? <clears throat> <clears throat> a Cincy Club is a subscription that you don't have to pay for to be a member of the Cincy Club. So, how that works, right? Does Correct. that make sense? Okay. 
So the perks of Sensi Club, the biggest perk, is always get my bar. So say you have lemon verbena. You'll love it. You have one bar. You're the only person in the whole wide world that has that one bar in your club. <laughs> they will still make that one bar for you. For you. you forever you, you, you. until you erase it from your club. Now in your club, you can add what? I need a pen. I left that in my apron. Okay. You want me to go grab one? No, I want you to keep talking. So. I'm going to disappear. All right. So in the club, you can you can add anything. What's how they say it? You can add anything that's available. Well, oh no. I'm, consumables. I'm mis- consumables. Any consumables. There she is. However, the only thing is the wax is lifetime. As long if as you, you keep don't it in your club. Take it out of your club. Okay, you can go now. So, I think yes. So that means laundry, oils, wax, cleaners, uh, fragrance flowers, all can be added to your club. You can't add warmers or diffusers or wall fan diffusers, anything like that. But consumables, you can. So there are other perks to Scentsy Club. When you hit $30, you get 10% off. Of everything. That's your shipping. When you hit $60, you earn a half off. That can be used for a whiff box, a laundry love, a brick, because you unlock bricks also. There's a select few of bricks, probably a good 12, I'd say, that you can add to your club and get one pound bar of wax. It's massive. They're fantastic. We have quite a few because... They're wonderful. They're fantastic. They're large and in charge. Very large. It's like, I'm the brick and she's the bar. (laughs) Stupid. (laughs) Just look at Uh, it from that perspective. I'm the brick, she's the bar. Crazy. (laughs) The Scentsy Club, you can cancel anytime. But once you cancel anything in your club that is discontinued, bar-wise, is gone. So say you have Laundry Love and coconut cotton in your club if they discontinue that it's gone out of your club it will disappear it will be removed the wax is the only thing that as long as you keep it in your club it will come every single time with that being said i would not suggest bundling and saving your wax i would do single bars at the end of the day if you want to get rid of one bar, you can delete that one bar. If you edit the six pack, they're all gone. So you can get up to the thirty dollars and then start saving ten percent. So really, it's kind of the same. It, it's yeah. That's the only way you're not going to lose all of your bars if you want to get rid of one. One. Let's see. You can get it monthly, bi-monthly, or quarterly. You can skip it. One time. One time in a 12-month period. So, so not you, in a year, but in a 12-month cycle. Yes. So say you join this month, you can only skip it once until June of 2022. Correct. Yes. <clears throat> Anything else? I it's, think you nailed it. It's super it. simple. You just go to our website, go to Cincy Club, create an account, and start adding. start loading that bad boy up yeah and it's, you can adjust it that's the beautiful mm-hmm. thing i just adjusted my monthly because i was getting christmas cactus i have she probably got it for like six months so 25 good... bars of christmas cactus back there that i will have for the winter and i don't have to worry about buying christmas cactus. or if it's going to come out in the catalog or if it doesn't come out i'm safe safe at home yep I have several others that were currently available, so I may add them at the end of next month if I want to make sure that they are in available. So Mm -hmm. I think one of the things that as we go through and sniff and tell you our real thoughts on the sniffer, I think that there will be some changes made yet again. So one thing that the reason that we wanted to hop on tonight was to make sure that you are all aware These bars are not available after midnight Pacific Standard Time tomorrow. 
the 30th. June 30th. June 30th. They will no longer be available. So if any of these fragrances are something that you love, you like, you think that you are going to want to enjoy, add it to your club. Don't just order it and hope that it comes back at any given time. Add it to your club. You're safer adding it to a club, creating a club, adding a club, adding it to your club, adjusting your club, whatever that looks like for you. Make sure that you, you get a hold of those fragrances that you love. With that, warm out there. Otis just went outside. Little Miss ADT let us know that the patio door was opened. All right, so we're gonna smell these bars. We're gonna make a pile that she wants to add to her club. I want to add to my club, or if we both agree, we're gonna fight over it. <laughs> we'll have to put it in just one club because not we don't need. No, we have plenty, and I do have the warmers on today because we are changing wax tonight. Okay. So, so I tried wait, to do that last. Million degrees. Yeah, that's, I tried to do that last night, and that didn't pan out for me. So we're going to try it again tonight. We're going to start with one of my very most favorite bars. All right. Smells like my very fo most favorite drink. Oh, Coffee Lord tree. have mercy. Coffee tree is exactly, and might I say, if you have seen an old Bring Back My Bar, this looks extremely different. All it is for this Bring Back is a little tiny sticker versus a whole different face of the clamshell. Yep. So Coffee Tree is bold and sophisticated. Wake up to the rich aroma of freshly roasted coffee beans. Can you smell it, please? I love it. I, I, I think I said that I loved mm. it during the last one. And for some reason, I thought that we had some in our No, it's going in the dock, club. But I guess we don't. And it's I don't know why club. it needs to go in our club. We make coffee every single day, and it smells like coffee in this house every single day. But... I'm getting glares. Daggers. She's throwing daggers. If you don't want them, we don't get it. I... I'll get it. I'll get one bar. Oh, we won't get it. She will get it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Put my foot down. Hey, I can't do that because I broke my thumb last time. Let broke me do it. No. Don't ruin it. I won't. Don't break your thumb. Here. I'll get it. Oh. Oh, there she goes. Gosh, that smell. I have to say, it has I like a perfumey it. fragrance to it has cream and coffee, which it makes is. me want a cream and coffee right now. It smells really good. That's what we should have. I should have had that. We should have had a coffee and cream. I have half calf in there, but. Okay, so that's going in your club. All right, pick the next, next one. Next is Love Story. I don't remember smelling this one. So, Love Story is like Love Spell. Is that right? Mm -mm. No. Lucky and Love is Love Spell. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Love Story. Innocent pink jasmine and sensual amber embraced by luscious dark chocolate. Oh, man. I still have coffee on my hands. Smell my hands. Oh, I love the smell of your hands. Coffee. This is really light. Pink jasmine and sensual amber embraced. You want me to do it? By luscious dark chocolate. Now I got it. I just don't want to break it. Mm-hmm. To your point, I don't want to ruin it. It's kind of fruity. It is. It's kind of got a sunscreen smell. I don't smell the sunscreen. Not like the smelly good sunscreen. That The little kid sunscreen. Hmm. A little bit. Okay, love story will not go in a club. I not in mine. So. No. So we'll set that there. All right. So this is another one that I have not been a big fan of until it came out in a uh, buddy clip. I, get him. You do I got that. him, I got him, I got him. A buddy clip and then I ended up liking it okay. Go ahead. We have to take a moment for station identification. <laughs> Otis. Please, please hold me. Please hold for just a moment yeah, while we a take care of little mister. He's been back in training because he had a little misstep the other day. So we've been working on his manners again. All right. Oodles of Orange. Oodles of Orange is exactly, again, what it sounds like. It smells like oodles and oodles of orange. And to me, it's a little, it's kind of like the Sunkiss drink, but we already have a Sunkiss citrus and it's a little bit different than that. It reminds me of Tang. Woo! 
Ooh, that is very orangey. Yes. That actually smells really good. It does, but it's very, very orange. Kids will love this sweet citrusy scent punched up by fresh pineapple, crisp papaya, mango blossom, and ripe bunches of tropical berries. Yum. It's very much, is it going to be anything? No. Okay. It's very nice. Very it orangey. Nice, but I think this one bar will do us. Yeah. Go ahead. Palo Santo. Y'all have heard all the rage. This is the one. Bubba, hold on. So Palo Santo. Wood, charred, cedar, bark, and teak are the ultimate dreamboat blend. It's Palo Santo wood. I've never heard of Palo Santo wood. I'll have to look that it's up. It's probably somewhere tropical. Oh, God. I really like it. I have to tell you guys, I really like this fragrance. I do, too. It smells like tobacco. It smells like a man to me. It smells like tobacco. It smells like a clean man. We're not adding this to the club, but... It's a good fragrance. I think we had one bar, right? Because we talked about that one. Yes. Yeah. So, so we can actually warm it. and then We have two bars of Palo Santo. I am yeah. actually going to look up Palo Santo wood because I'm curious while she goes on to her next bar. All right. Next one is, it was actually a uh, scent of the month. It's strawberry swirl. Strawberry swirl. And I remember I wasn't. A huge fan of this one. Just Frozen kind of like cream oh, strawberries. Go ahead. Frozen strawberry swirl whipped with frothy milk and vanilla. It smells like a strawberry milkshake to me. Yeah. It reminds me of a, that creamy, slushy yeah. strawberry milkshake. I'm not a fan though. We have plenty of these, I Fragrance. believe. Next. I'm gonna do lemon thyme berry. Oh man. Lemon thyme berry, sparkling lemonade, and strawberry sprinkled with crushed thyme. This one smells good. What? What's wrong with it? Nothing is wrong oh. with it. It smells slushy to me. Sl like a slushy? Mm hmm. I could see that. Boy, that's nice. I it is really I nice. Think that's, that, <clears throat> I think that could go in the club. Okay, she might put it in her club. I'm not putting it in my club because I have a lot of the... Mm. Oh, the, man. The garden. I have a lot of the the garden... Well, what was the garden, garden collection. collection? The garden collection Just fragrances. So this smells like a slushy, but a slushy with runts. Those oh, candies. So yeah. Like, oh, I like that a lot. Nice. Yeah. I want to talk about this one really quick. Go for it. Watermelon mint. The packaging is beautiful. The outside is green. The inside is red. That is so funny. It's just like a watermelon. Let's see. Watermelon mint. A chilled slice of sweet watermelon sprinkled with bracing fresh mint makes a refreshing summer treat. This is just like the beverage. Watermelon lemonade. Mm -hmm. It's watermelon limeade, right? Yes, limeade. I don't get the mintiness of it. Let's pop it out. Talk about your little wood. Thing. Palo Santo wood. Where's it from? Palo Santo holy wood incense. Uh, Palo Santo, which means holy wood or wood of the saints, is a mystical tree that grows on the coast of South America and is related to frankincense, myrrh, and copal. Burning these sticks is a sacred practice used by indigen indigenous communities of the Andes to cleanse their space and ward off evil spirits. Nice. I think I like the Palo Santo fragrance even more now. I want you to take a nice breathe in and at the end is the cool mint. Nice long one. I get it in the back a little bit. Do it again. I don't get the mintiness of it the way that you probably do. Mm. And that's okay. I have a different palette. My palette's kind of broken. So is my sniffer. I don't know why. Okay. Okay. We doing that? So that was watermelon mint. Mm hmm Sure. How do you say that? Kahiko, Kahiko hula. hula. Say aloha with exotic passion fruit, mango, and papaya. 
Oh my goodness. Oh my papaya. Ugh. Definitely pineapple, oh. but very light. I just had a vision of her pineapple upside down on the counter and all those juices. That is a strong pineapple fragrance. That's nice. Very nice. What do you think? I'll set it right here. Ha! Uh, there's her first one. Kahiko Hula. This reminds me of, what's that one show with Blake Shelton and... Oh, uh, The View? No. Or... Blake what? Shelton is not on The View. Oh, not The View. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, All right, the you music guys. one. Yes. All right, help us the out. The voice. The voice. I knew it was a V. This is like the voice, but with fragrance. Yeah, we're not turning <laughs> our chairs around either. All right, this one because I'm tired of looking at it and I like it very much. Rockin' Ruby Raz. Rockin' Ruby Raz. This is one of my sister's favorites. A fruity blend of juicy orange, fresh strawberry, and sweet candy glaze all wrapped up in one perfect fragrance. Uh, uh, this reminds me of... Um, there's a gummy candy. Not a cinnamon bear? No, there's no cinnamon. I don't remember. This smells very nice. I like it. What do you think? It's okay. Rock and Ruby Raz. All right, next. I'm going to go with Ocean. If this could just be in all cleaning products, I would have every cleaning product in Ocean. Mm. Cool and refreshing aquatic notes deepened with water lilies and ocean breezes. And it is all the clean in the world. Oh my heavens. Pardon the noise. Oh my gosh, that is so yummy to me. It's clean, it it's fresh. Clean. It's nice. It's all the things. It's, it's strong. It's a strong one. It is strong. How about uh, Lucky in Love, which oh. is equivalent to Love Spell from Victoria's Secret. Sweet bouquet of mandarin, bergamot, and orange with hints of peach and berries. Mmm. That is really nice. It kind of reminds me. Let me smell that again, please. Out of the. Oh, it doesn't matter. It reminds me of something, and I'm trying to remember what it is. Mm. Lucky in love. Do you want it? No. Okay. I'm trying to be really careful about how much I'm putting in my club. Because <laughs> we already got a bunch in there. She's got gone. two clubs. I do. It's a problem. It is a problem. I was listening to somebody that said their club was over $200 today, and I about had a panic attack. I was like, oh my gosh, I shouldn't feel bad at all, because I have two clubs that probably equal at least that, but i got to get on a budget. <laughs> Honeymoon Hideaway. That is one of my friend's favorites. That, my friends, I'll pick up my paper. Escape. To a secluded mm. retreat of dew-kissed lily and tart sweet kiwi, shaded by lush coconut palm. That is really nice. It's clean. Mm -hmm. It's a very nice clean. I like this in the counter clean. What do you think? This was in laundry. Mm -hmm. And it was nice in laundry. Very nice. Next. Blue hyacinth. I like all the flowery things. Blue hyacinth, florals from heaven. Pure blue hyacinth is about is all about the flower power. Flower power. That smells just like a flower. It smells like being out in the yep, garden and smelling. The bees would love it. Yes, they would. That is so nice. So nice. Well, while we're doing flowers, let's do fresh cut daisies. Oh, the fresh cut daisies. A meadow awash in summer blooms, freshly cut grass and clover with daisies, buttercups, and ivy. Hmm. That's interesting. Kind of smells like soap. It kind of smells like grass. I smell the grass. Do you? Oh my gosh, I smell fresh cut grass in there. Do you smell it? Mm -hmm. That it's, is so soap. awesome. Oh my gosh. That's cool. That is fantastic. Go ahead. French kiss. 
Sweet fig, tenderly caressed by coconut, pulp, exotic cedar, and caramel. Mm. This is nice. Is it? It's very... It's kind of calming. Yeah, I get that. It's powdery. Mm-hmm. Which is funny because it looks like it would be a heavy scent with it's the color. Not. Look at that. It's very light. Isn't that rich and pretty? Yes. All right. Candy Craze. Just the sweet stuff. Raspberry sorbet, cotton candy, and fluffy marshmallows. I love that. But I don't get any of it. A little bit of raspberry. Yeah. It's light, which is good for kids. I remember when this was out before and it was a big deal. All right, what's next? Uh, I'll do watermelon patch. Uh, okay, I'll let you no, do no, watermelon no, no. patch. I'm going to do white tea and cactus. Oh, man. She's going to fuss over anything no, I pick. White tea and cactus. Not. A I clean, fuss. crisp, and refreshing floral mix with green notes. Green notes. I, I can smell it already. I love it in the clean, and I loved it in laundry. Mm -hmm. That's nice. It was really nice. It was nice and clean and sweet and pretty. Very much so. Watermelon patch. Sweet vine ripened watermelon. All things watermelon. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. It's going in her club. I guarantee. Probably. Hmm. I don't know why I don't like it right now. I think my sniffer's really broken. I'm not kidding. I can still smell that coffee tree on my hand. <laughs> I'm in trouble. It's nice. It smells like watermelon. I can smell the seeds. It's so funny. Mm -hmm. I smell seeds. Yeah. That's so bizarre. I think it will still go in my club. Sweet pea and vanilla. My sister-in-law loves sweet pea and vanilla. Sweet pea and vanilla, doo -doo -doo -doo. ambiance of raspberries and sweet pea petals with vanilla. Mm. Now so, this is strong. Yes, it is. That is nice. That is very strong. That's club worthy. Oh, I see another one that's club worthy. Go ahead. This one? Uh huh. Jet set go. In all things cleaning again. All Jet things. off to a balmy tropical paradise of Brazilian orange, jungle papaya, and island vanilla. Mm. I just love that fragrance. Put him out again. It's, he is it's on one. very nice. It, a little sweet, a little uh, perfumey. It's cleany. Clean. Very, very much clean. And then we'll let her pick one. Uh, I see two that I for sure want to put in a club. Okay, and this chair is driving me nuts, so I'm just going to stand okay, here now. Okay, go ahead. Mulberry bush. That one I really, 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 really like. All right. Sweet mulberry accented with bittersweet orange peels. I <clears throat> like this one very much. It reminds me of my grandma Looker's home. Does it? Mm-hmm. She had a candle, a jar candle, and she never burned it, but she always had it open. And it so always would, had fragrance. I would smell it. Yes. So this one, we're going into club. Wild black cherry. Just like it sounds. Oh man. A sweet and juicy black cherry, like an old-fashioned black cherry soda. Not even kidding. Not even kidding. Seriously, like you could melt that and drink it. You'd have problems. I mean, it is food grade, but I wouldn't recommend it. It's not going to taste as good as it smells. Trust me. Ben. It smells fabulous. What do you think? We'll keep it in the club. We can decide against it later. Club maybe. pack. This one's going last because this is the one we have to talk about. Summer Soleil. I don't even know if I said that right. But pineapple and coconut milk top fluffy vanilla marshmallow. Oh. I think it's a light one. Is it yeah. light? Well, my sniffer. Let me pop it out for you. My I don't sniffer. Think you can, I don't think you can pop it out and make it any better for me. I think it's broken. Your sniffer? Yes, I think it's broke. Now well, we better get you to the sniffer doctor. No. 
I don't think there's anything they can do for it. I can smell that coffee still, let me tell you. It's very light. It kind of smells like lotion. It does. That smells like suntan lotion. Okay. Okay, okay. Spring forward. This was a scent of the month. If sunshine had scent, it would be this burst of Italian bergamot, raspberry jam, and cedar wood. Oh, boy. And I can't smell it at all. No? No. It smells very floral. I can't even smell it. So the last one Broken. is my wish. It's her wish. Now, I will say, the new fragrance that just came out. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. A concoction of earthly fig, sweet violet, and playful marshmallow will have you wishing for more. So the scent of the month Which for is July, stargazing. Stargazing. Smells similar to this. This is amazing. Okay, stargazing is stronger. This is so nice. The marshmallow. I can smell the creaminess of it. That's oh, sweet. Oh, that's one in my club. Okay, so I've got four, five, She's six, got a six seven. Pack. I have seven. I have one, so that's eight. I'm trying to manage my club. It's out of control, and I have more things than I absolutely need. So I'm trying to get a grip and calm it down a little bit. Get a grip. Get a grip. But that's what we wanted to share with you tonight. Again, if you do not have a Scentsy Club and any of these fragrances sound like something that you would enjoy, our recommendation is get a Scentsy Club tonight or tomorrow. There will be a link below to do so. Make sure that you add the fragrances to your club. If you don't like it, you can always cancel it and you don't have to worry about it again. There's no subscription fee for having a Scentsy Club. That's what I meant to say earlier. There's no contract, so you're not bound by being a part of a Scentsy Club for a period of time. You can have it for a month and then cancel. Absolutely. And one of the things that's fantastic about Scentsy Club is you can add your laundry love to Cincy Club so you get a shipment every month and then you don't have to worry about going out to the store to pick up that laundry stuff. With that, we wish that you could see Otis right now because he is sniffing around and trying to figure out what's going on on the other side of the bar. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and ring that bell for future notifications of videos that we upload. Thank you for watching. Have a great night. Bye, everybody. God bless.